Hi everybody. So this is an introductory session for SAP Master Data Governance, it's MDG. And it's a new product in the market with SAP's, it was previously known as MDM, then SAP upgraded this product to MDG, which Master Data Governance. And this is one of the majorly used tool for governance processes. And this is in compliance with SOCs and other regulatory things. And it improves the efficiency of the organization from governance perspective. The entire governance model can be designed within MDG. So let's talk about more in detail. What are the challenges organizations face in today's environment? So we talk about the business processes, so reduce sales effectiveness. So there is a lot of consolidated view of customer data across channels. So if you see any diversified organization, there are a lot of customers and there is a lot of customer data, master data. A lot of data is lost. There is no visibility of the data available, where it is available, how to get that data into the right system. Companies having multiple ERP systems who are involved in mergers and acquisitions, they have a lot of business, a lot of organizations within within company. And because of that, at the end of the day, the customer transactions are compromised due to limit, limited view of the facts. So the management doesn't have the entire visibility of the, of the facts. So that's why you know the transactions are compromised. And at the end of the day, you lose your sales, you lose your revenue, and you are losing at the end of the day the money. Suboptimal procurement decisions. So again, the, it related to suppliers. So you don't have any transparency for suppliers and the products they have. You might assume that the product is not available with the supplier, but it might be. And because of that, you are paying high cost due to insuppli insufficient supplier selection or rationalization. So what happened at the end is you pay more money to the supplier because your selection of the supplier is not right. So again, you are losing money. Delayed go-to-market process. So failure to capitalize on market opportunity by introducing new products. So when you introduce company introduce new product, there is no clarity most of the time that what are the target segment. The sales team, of course, selects some targets, but they cannot capture 100%. So lack of real-time collaboration with front office thus hindering customer services. You don't know what is your actual target segment and then you lose, you, you, you look behind the customer services and you lose money. Again, you lose customers and at the end you lose money. Business de decisions are ineffective. Lack of consistent information impedes to make critical de decisions supporting innovation. So as somebody has rightly said, you know, innovation is everything. If you innovate, you grow. So because of that, you know, compromise business dynamics with negative impact on managing resources effectively. So the resources are not managed effectively. They are not centralized actually. There is no process to govern the resources. Resources are there. You have invested money, but at, at the end of the day, you don't, you don't have the proper governance model. So these are a lot of challenges you know which companies are facing the, the multinational the big company they have a lot of data sitting here and there and it is not centralized so these are a lot of challenges which currently the companies face in master data perspective All lines of businesses are impacted by master data quality. Now, you have different lines of businesses, you have different supports organizations within company, finance is support, IT is support, sales, supply chain is something which is very key. Now, everybody suffers because the data quality is not that ex as it is expected. Some challenges which companies face is financials, the master data across company is inconsistent. 
and it includes your cost center hierarchy your profit center hierarchy your gl account hierarchy all those are inconsistent and you are you are not doing the right reporting manual efforts to update financial master data in local financial systems so what happened is you know the lot of lot of countries have a lo lot of local system being used for example company using sap but in local russia they might be using a1 in brazil they might be using micro siga what for example so they have to maintain there is a duplicacy now you maintain it in sap then because it is a local system it is compliant to to local authorities you have to use that system and then you maintain it again so it's just a duplicacy risk of non compliance to ifrs and socs when it comes to legal you know we have to be compliant slow group could close this so because of a lot of master data maintenance data missing here and there the your turnaround time for month and close the year and close the quarter and close is 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 high you spend around 4 5 days 6 days sometime more than that in your financial monthly financial reporting you start from work day 1 you end up somewhere around work day 6 you are losing time lack of transparency about changes who did change what changes happened when did it happen and why did it happen somebody changes the master data vendor master your bank payment fails now you are analyzing the issue of bank payment failure and the reason is sitting in the vendor master now you don't know who changed that how it was changed and why why it was changed that's very important why is very important question so that some of the key challenges with finance phase if we talk about the it lot of master data maintenance cost as i just gave an example of local system you have to be a take a person from local system also you have to take a person from main erp also those guys will maintain the data at the end but you are incurring the cost it's everything goes to it so at the end when it reports their budget with budget opens you have a high cost because you are reporting duplicacy need for multiple systems to manage master data in different domains again the same thing so you you have to require multiple system again you have to pay license fees you pay lot of money for licenses lack of flexibility in dynamic business environment so since business environment is very dynamic these days it has to be very flexible very really, very flexible so because of that you know it, because of less governance you are losing dynamicness flexibility is not there sales the lack of consolidated view of customer data across all channels so in sales everybody has to be have a clear view who is my customer what is my customer data what are my payment term with that customer so that when you sign new contracts you make new deals you are very well aware and everything is there on the table but because of the failure of the data issues you lose customers and again customer transactions are compromised because you don't have the right data you compromise on the quality of the of the data and again you at the end you lose the transaction and you lose revenue supply chain lack of transparency to suppliers again we we discussed about this high cost lo loss of potential benefit realization you don't get discounts lot of conditions are there and when the co centralized contracts are there you know the headquarters or centralized contracts are being offered in that case you know you you lose potential benefits so these are you know multiple line of business within businesses you know which support the actual operations they all are impacted by master data quality moving on so sap master data governance so let's talk about what sap offers sap master data governance we will call it mdg easy to use centrally govern master data on top of sap business suite so sap mdg is a natural extension of the businesses business processes running in sap business suite providing out of box domain specific master data governance to centrally create change and distribute master data so you have sap already in built or any other system you have a domain specific master data governance to centrally create change and distribute master data you create gl account 
let's say you are using SAP and Hyperion for management for consolidation and SAP for transactions. You create GL account in one central system and it should float automatically to the other, you know, with the right mapping, with the right hierarchy. That's what SAP MDG is doing. You created one place with the right hierarchy, it will automatically flow to the another system. No need of duplicacy. Systems takes care of your work. And that's what the innovation and automation is. So some key benefits are governance. Enable governance, compliance, transparency, staging, approval, and central audit trial. So since it is control completely governed and controlled within system, you have a proper staging where who created the data, your audit trial is there, who created the data, when it was created, why it was created. Approval process is there in place, so somebody cannot just create and go ahead. It has to go through the proper chain of approval with the right justification and then you have a transparency. Consistent data delivers consistent definition, authorization and replication of key master data entity for SAP. Eliminates error prone manual maintenance processes for master data in multiple systems. So you know if you create master data in multiple systems you have a you you might have a risk. You create a customer master in SAP, you create the same customer master in different system and you mis did the payment terms mismatch. You have 45 days payment terms in SAP, you make 60 days in another system, then the data is inconsistent. But with this centralized maintenance, your data is in, is completely consistent. Integration. Navig native integration with SAP, so it's already inbuilt integration with SAP, the com most of the companies are on SAP, so there is an inbuilt integration, you get the benefit of that. Reuse of SAP data models and existing business logic and configuration for creation and validation of master data. So you have a re reusability of data models. Flexible allows to extend the existing models and new objects related to process related processes in order to govern own master data domain. So it's flexible. And data quality leverages SAP data services for quality and enrichment. So SAP data services are being used. So it en ensures that data quality is, is there and enrichment is done from time to time for the existing data. So those are some features of SAP master data governance or I would say SAP MDG. Okay, moving ahead. What is the process flow? It's at a high level. As you move on, we'll talk about the configurations and all. But it's at a high level. Central maintenance of master data and staging area. So somebody maintains the entire master data at the staging area. It's the initial phase where the data is stored. Then you, you reuse existing business logic, integrate external services, data enrichment, address cleaning, duplicate checks. So now your validation and maintenance of the data happens. You maintain the data, you validate the data, you approve the data and you replicate the data. So there you do all the quality checks including approvals. System will validate the data, is it a duplicate data or if something is wrong, if any cleansing is required, something anything which is which might not be acceptable as per the validations system will validate the data it will clean the data and then it will go for the approval flow then it goes for collaboration adaptable workflow audit table change process so then it goes for once it is approved it goes for creation for the change it will ask for the change request and once that is assigned then it automatically get replicated to non SAP and SAP systems. So then whatever systems you have built in it will you require to flow it will get flow to the other systems automatically. So now what the benefit is if let's say your one GL or one vendor master is going to 10 different systems you are, you have you have ensured that the quality of the data is correct because whatever is entered once is replicated. It's not that payment terms will change or the vendor number will be have an issue or the name of the vendor will have an issue or the paying vendor name will have an issue. So 
everything is consistent so you are ensuring that your data is consistent when it is sent to different systems all right adaptation enrichment in local systems so now if for local systems if required you local system will adapt the data and if required from local perspective you can enrich the data for example language so the data will go in english but if in russia you need it in russian you enrich the data based on this local systems logic you change the language so and then finally your data is created so that's a high level process workflow of how master data governance process works automatic replication to multiple system creation at staging area and then approval process and then how you can do the enrichment so it's at a high level so all this is system controlled system ensure that all this is valid and correct capabilities so what are the capabilities of sap mdg so the first is deliver out of the box standard sap gives you everything what you need integrate object model so you can integrate model an you know, object so the mo models are data models are already integrated governance collaboration and data quality we just talked about data quality governance is there entire chain change request is there approval flow is there and data is collaborated and quality is maintained a robust data replication there is no chance that data will missed out in one system if you have 10 different system it it will be replicated since it's going by via system reusability and extensibility you can reuse the data and it is you know extendable So we talked about the master data challenges, the impact on the organization in different verticals. What are the benefits of SAP master data governance processes? The high-level process flow of how data maintains and how data is replicated, and what are the master data governance capabilities? So at a high level, we discussed about all these three questions. in the next session we talk about other benefits and there are multiple elements of mndg we'll talk about those capabilities okay thank you so much